Okay, um, time for another video demonstration. Um, I've actually got the laser cutting with the PPI on, and uh, I gotta tell you, it's pretty friggin' sweet. Um, it, uh, it actually produces less smoke, and I cannot tell where the laser starts and stops when, um, when I don't use any lead in or lead out. Uh, this works better than I ever thought it would. Um, character of cut pieces is a little bit different depending on the PPI settings. Um, I'll show you cutting out one of those little uh, Dutchmans that I was talking to you about before. Um, so if I regen the tool path here, oh, oops, and I gotta zero the, uh, uh, the references. So now I'll regen the tool path and you'll see here. That's what I'm cutting out. Nothing too fancy, but um, uh, it really, really works well. So, uh, in the code, which I, I'm gonna have to come up with a way to set this um, from mock, but you can see I've got uh, five millisecond pulse, and it's running at 200 PPI, which is a little low. Um, and you can actually feel a little bit more roughness on the piece, depending on what you. Um, set the PPI settings at. Uh, it really works well. Um, some other things that I had to change, and I'll post this code to, um, was adding this stuff here. Um, it worked fine when uh, I was running with the, um, the serial communication on, um, but then it would stop <laughs> working well when I um, turned the serial communication off. And what I found out was that taking that serial communication out made the loop run so fast that um, it would multi it would read these um, the counts uh, here so fast that um, it would trigger this to to um, set the a zero uh, to whether or not it was moving. So I actually had to add a delay um, here, and it actually runs about 50 times uh, before it turns off. But even still, I can't tell a difference. Uh, this this uh, loop runs incredibly fast. So anyway, I'll post this code up and uh, I'll, I'll shut up because you probably wanted to see it work. So um, anyway, uh, I've got it loaded up and queued up. So um, it's running at 400 inches or 400 millimeters a minute. So um, here we go. Hit the start button and there you go. Um, there's actually a significant significantly less smoke produced and uh, um, there's no need to use those roll-ins and rolls outs. Uh, now that last move that it makes it jogs up and back uh, that's just to make sure that uh, the, the, the laser turns off. I have it set up so that um, in the uh, in the smooth stepper uh, that it turns on and off with with a motion step so I have to give it a last motion but anyway um, you know let me jog this off here and um, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so that's up and off of there. Now, here is the, the piece. Um, now, in comparison to some of these older ones, I'm getting a little close with the camera. I don't know if you can see that well. I'll have to get some sort of macro lens or something to be able to take some close-ups, but you can definitely see uh, a big... Um, uh, kind of like a drill hole where it starts and stops. And on this, you can't tell where it started or stopped at all. Um, it should just pop right out of there. It's a really tight fit, too. Um, uh, so the, this thing uh, really performs a whole lot better than it used to with just uh, the common uh, uh, on control, on off control. Now you can see. There seems to be a little bit of um, discoloration there, but it started right halfway in the middle there. But I can't feel anything where it started and stopped. Um, I don't know if it's going to come through on this either, but you can actually see some ridges on there, uh, and that's from the pulsing of the laser. Now, I have a theory here too that this is going to be more efficient um, and actually cut faster and um, 
through thicker material uh, because of what we saw when FSE posted his um, uh, discussion on on uh, how fast they turn on. If you looked at that that laser response diagram, when the laser actually turns on after it forms the plasma inside of the the uh, the uh, tube, it actually um, it goes to almost twice the wattage or twice the power as what it does at steady state. So by turning it on and off rapidly, um, you're actually sending pulses that have uh, more power than what the, the laser is rated, and yet your duty cycle is a lot lower, so your laser runs cooler. It's um, it's actually this is a really a nice way to go, and you can see that these are just barely browned edges on here. And I didn't even have to work to get this. This was like the fourth setting I tried. So it, I mean, I'm set to make all the Christmas presents this year. Um, I got if you looked at the previous post, I got that. Um, uh, Cougar loaded up, or I guess it was a leopard, whatever. But uh, given that I can't even tell where they start and stop, these are going to be about as perfect of a uh, a uh, uh, scroll saw artwork as you're going to get. Um, and I like it that it doesn't even produce really darkened edges, and I may be able to do that, mess with that a little bit better to to uh, produce some better results. But man, it's um, I'm fairly impressed with this. Uh, I want to try getting some 3 8 inch plywood and see if I can actually cut through that. But uh, anyway, uh, it's been fun, fun project. Uh, there are a few things I would do differently and improve. If you want to do this yourself, uh, I'll sh gladly share the Eagle files with you uh, to make the board. Um, and maybe we can even talk about going in on getting a uh, uh, fabricated board and improving it and stuff like that. So uh, anyway. I'm really impressed. Works great. So, uh, yeah.